All right, welcome to the very first example for slope deflection. Um, um, this is for indeterminate structures. Here we have a beam ABC. There's a 16 kip foot, I mean 16 kip load applied at the midspan of A and B, and there's a 2 kip per foot uh, distributed load applied um, from B to C. Um, the distances are 8, 8, um, the total length from A, B being 16 and B to C, uh, it's, it's four feet. Now, our equation for slope deflection, I'm gonna do this in green, is moment IJ is equal to uh, two EI over L times two theta I plus theta J minus three psi IJ plus your fixed end moments, okay? So if I'm gonna write a moment equation for one of the spans, let's say we do span um, A, B, so I cut it close to the joints and I just, I look at member A, B, okay? So I have member A, B here, um, I have the 16 kip load applied here at mid-span um, remember our sign convention for slope deflection problems um, are clockwise for the ends of the members. So at B, the moment BA, and remember these, these subscripts, um, they stand for which side of the member you are on. So if I were to write BA, that means I'm on side B looking at A, right? So BA. And then on this side, you know, it's still clockwise. This is moment A, B, okay? The A comes first because that's where the moment here is applied and the B comes first here because that's where the moment B is applied here. Now, to write, remember each member has two equations, one for the left side of the member, one for the right side. So if I were to write an equation for the left side and left side is member A, B, that's going to equal 2EI over L, and our length for AB, remember, was 16 feet, times 2 theta A plus theta B minus 3 psi AB uh, plus the fixed end moment for AB, okay? And for uh, MBA, uh, the equation is 2EI. So now we're looking at, at this one right here, right? Uh-oh, don't send. Okay, let's continue. 2EI over L, L is 16 feet, um, times 2 theta B um, plus theta A minus 3 psi BA, right? Plus the fixed end moment BA. Now we need to calculate um, the fixed end moments, right? So the fixed end moment for AB. If, let me, let me draw this generic beam and it has a point load P um, in the middle and you know that the fixed end moment um, on the left side is negative PL over eight. And this is, this you can find in charts or books, um, usually on the inside covers of books. Um, the fixed end moment for the left side is negative, and on the right side is positive. So for BA, it's positive PL over eight. And our P, um, remember it says 16K, so Really, this is negative 16 times 16 over 8, and this is positive 16 times 16 um, over 8, okay? So let me, uh, let me actually just rewrite um, MAB. MAB is 2EI over 16, 2 theta A plus theta B minus 3 psi AB um, minus 16 times 16 over 8 
and MBA is 2EI over L times 2 theta B plus theta A minus 3 psi BA plus PL over 8. Okay? Now there's a couple things here we can cancel out. The slope, if we look back up to this diagram, the deflected shape for this beam looks something something like this, right? The slope, or theta a, you know here is equal to zero because there's a fixed end here, okay? And then you have theta b here. We don't know what theta b is here. Now this member a b, it's being deflected but there, it's not rotating in any way. So we can also say that the chord rotation for member a b is equal to zero. So with these two values known, we can actually say theta a is equal to zero, and then the chord rotations are also equal to zero. So if I simplify these equations down a little bit more, remember a b would be 2 e i over 16 times theta b um, minus uh, 16 times 16 over 8, that's 32, and then member BA, uh, somewhat the same thing, 2EI over 16, um, this time it's 2 theta B, um, and then it's plus 16 times 16 over 8, uh, which is 32, okay? So we wrote our equations for um, main span AB um, and we're going to actually look at span BC um, probably in the next video. All right, see you then.